Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning member of my awesome bomb squad, thank you again for joining me. Great to have you here. I'm just showing you a picture of what I'm going to be using today. This is a collaboration set between me and Just Nailed It. <clears throat> so please hop on over to her channel as well and check her video out. Um, this is Orange Burst by Young Nails. Apple by Young Nails. This is House of Pancakes by Twinkle T. The purple one is Hollow Bay by Twinkle T. And this one is Late Bloomer, as in pants. Um, and those three are from Twinkle T. They're uh, extra fine glitters, and I don't know if they make those anymore. I've had those for quite a few years. So those are the ones that we're going to be using. I'm also going to be using some of my Mission Control paints and possibly some of the colors that I got from um, Kawaii Nails Collection. And I will be using uh, the LGM Pro Crystal Clear and Milky White for this look. So I've already done my non-dominant hand. I figured that that would be better to go ahead and do that. So now we're going to take care of my left hand, which should go a whole lot smoother. Stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So what I've done, <clears throat> I've got my laptop playing on the nail table. So I have it covered up so it doesn't get full of dust. Um... So what I've done is I've got out my LGN Crystal Clear and I'm going to be using uh, the LGN Gel Brush number 6. And the first thing we're going to do, and I'm also going to be using that little nifty little brush that I got from Daily Charm to pick up my glitters. Okay. So the very first thing we're going to do, I've already, these are the Young Nail Full Cover uh, Stiletto Tips. And all I did was just round them off ever so slightly. Um, and I used the E-Nail Couture uh, Clear um, Solid Glue Gel to put them on. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take a very little bit of the crystal clear and I'm going to put it on each nail and this is going to be our base for our glitter. It doesn't have to be super thick because the milky white is going to have to go on a little bit thicker okay, to achieve that, that peekaboo glitter look that we're going for that's so popular these days. Um, I saw Jen on Jen, I think her name is Jen's Nails UK or Nails by Jen UK. Um, she did a set the other day like this. Different glitters and different colors of course but it made me want to do a set and this is a collaboration set between me and Just Nailed It. Um, hey Cherie, if you're watching, thank you girl, I really appreciate you doing this with me. Um, this is the only requirements that we came up with were that we wanted to use butterfly stickers and some bling and some sugary. So this is what we're gonna do. So you just wanna put a thin coat on each nail, just enough to hold the glitter. I'm going to finish the other three nails. I'm going to cure them in the light for 60 seconds, and I'll be back. Hey, y'all. So, I made a slight boo-boo. Uh, we are not going to cure this gel before we put the glitter on it. So, do not, clear, do not cure your gel before you put the glitter on because that's what's going to hold the glitter in place. We're going to cure it afterwards. 
So on this hand, I've done the purple, blue, green, and orange, and pink on the thumb. So I figured I'd switch it up a little bit because I really don't like the orange that much. It's not as bright as I was hoping it would be. So we're going to put that on uh, the pinky this time. You're just going to dip your brush in, and we're just going to put that, that glitter. Okay, just put it right up at the cuticle area. Make it as concentrated, use any colors that you wish. They don't have to be these colors. Just, I like bright, fun, you know, summery colors, so. And this glitter is not the same, um, you know, in other words, it's, it's a bigger cut. It's still a small, but it's a small chunky, so, yeah, you just want to put it right up there, um, at the cuticle, and work it down as far as you would like, um, and then wipe your brush off and move on to your next color. The next one I'm going to do is the green. And the green is not that pronounced either. I wish I had had, and I probably do. I just didn't take time to look for it. But still very pretty. And I probably could have done you know, more than one layer to make it stand out a little bit more, but I just didn't. Okay, it's very simple to do. Just want to lightly tap the nail, make sure you get it to the edge. Okay, so that when you put your milk white on, um, you know, it comes around like a cuff. So I'm going to continue that process with the other three colors, ending probably with the blue, I don't know, maybe um, put the blue on next, and then the pink and the purple, pink. yeah, okay, so I'm going to put the blue on next, I'm going to clean my brush again, because you don't want to your glitters I mean unless that's what you're looking for so I'm gonna do that with the other three nails and then I will be back and then I'm gonna cure it in the light for 60 seconds and I'll be back okay everyone so I've got this done and this is what they're looking like so far I went ahead and put my glitters away so I didn't make a mess which I did anyway but I've already gotten out my uh, LGN Pro Milky White. And by the way, the glitters from Twinkle Tea, I do have a discount code for them and link for them in the description box. Please feel free to go and check them out if you haven't done so already. They also have recently brought out a gel polish line called Gel Baby. So you can also take advantage of that too, I believe, with the discount code. So the next step, I've already cured this in the light for 60 seconds. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the white. So I'm going to show you one or two nails, and then I'm going to finish the rest off camera. Okay, so, oh wow, well guess what, I didn't even realize that got a big hunk of purple missing right there all right well, we'll fix that as 
I think a little long. I'm just gonna add a little bit more gel right there where it's missing. I had trouble on the thumb too, so my lamp made me get ready to go kapui. Um, I used two different lamps. I used the Kiara Sky Beyond Pro Unicorn uh, lamp and ethyl, and I also used the Nail Meat uh, Purple Nail Light as well. And that one's older, so I mean, it could be that it's just, you know, getting old and getting time to be replaced. that again and I'll be back. Okay y'all, so now that this is re again, let's try to go for putting the white on this time. Pardon my phone. Um, that just goes to show, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Okay, it happens. I had trouble with part of the thumb coming off as well. And I had to go back and fix it twice. So, maybe it's just my light. But, I mean, you know, things happen. Don't fret about it. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple of nails on camera. And then I'm going to finish the rest off. And we'll go from there. So the first thing you want to do in this particular case now I um, choose to start with a big dollop to begin with because I don't want to lose because I'm having trouble with the glitter today um, I choose to start bigger you know instead of like putting down a slip layer first because I don't want to take a chance on that glitter coming off in my white. You want to just sort of put this on the nail and maneuver it around. It will make a naturally rounded shape. Okay? If you kind of pillow it, get the gel in front of your brush. Okay? And this is up self levels very nicely um, then you just want to work it down the nail okay if you need some more go ahead and get it now depending on how uh, warm your room is of course this is going to be more running so you don't have a lot of play time and I'm not super fast with gel I am um, Axiom gel by OPI certified I don't even know if they make that anymore but, um, and I have a lot of gel, I do gel on clients, but acrylic is my first love, so. So I'm just going to work this around, and hopefully it won't run off the nail. I thought that this hand would be easier to show you guys on camera, but could be the weather too, we're supposed to have, um, storms and everything today so could be that I doubt it it's probably just me so you just want the lightest touch okay don't be afraid to move it back around if it gets out of place I have to because I'm just not fast and sometimes it gets away from me but that's okay It's nothing to say that if you, you know, don't have enough somewhere when you get
get it all in one or whatever, uh, that you can't go back and add more. Okay? Nobody, there's no rules to this. Now, when I went to school, there were. Oh, you did the three ball, four ball method with Tammy Taylor. You used these products. You worked it this way. And this is the shape and this is the, the length you should have and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, things change. Styles change. Products change. And now they're figuring out, you know, that as long as your structure is good, then... You know, don't stress about how many balls it takes you or how long or anything like that. I'm just going to go back and add a little bit of this right in there. I'm going to turn my nail upside down. Hopefully you can see. Can you see? I'm going to come back this way. Let me move that where I need it. Hubby's in there taking a nap. If you hear him snoring, welcome to my life. And if you need more, you know, up toward the glitter part, turn it up like this. It'll flow down that way. No harm, no foul. I've had to come up with a lot of different ways to do things because I am not fast and because I can't move my hands in certain ways. And gel files really easily, so if you make any boo-boos, it's all good. Okay? So that's what we're looking like. I'm going to put her in the lamp real quick and flash here. I don't want her going anywhere. Then we're going to do one more. <coughs> I'm going to cure her for about 15-20 seconds. Um, this is a milky white, but still, um, you do want to make sure that you fully cure them. So that you don't have um, any wrinkling or any peeling, chipping anything like that, any separation of your product. Okay. Alright, so now that we've frozen that in place, and we are going to be capping the glitter in clear, so, let's see, that's almost perfect the way it is. And we had to do very little to get it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the middle finger, so you can see. Now, of course, the bigger your finger is, like your thumb, or the smaller, however you want to look at it, um, the more or less product you're going to need. Okay? And I just sort of usually hold over the, the gel container until the little string comes off, because I can't never get the, the tails to come off. Um, I don't know how Lizette does it. I've watched her and, you know, I've tried doing it the way she does it and it just doesn't work the same for me. I don't know. And I've watched Greg on Young Nails, you know, how he pulls, gets the um, tails off the glitter. But it just doesn't work that way for me. So I usually hold over the container until the string. Uh, or tail works its way off. You know. Okay, so again, you're going to pillow your gel. Hopefully I'm in frame, y'all. You're going to pillow your gel. And see, it just naturally makes that round shape that you're looking for. You want to be as light a touch as possible. You 
keep things moving on you, go move it back. Tell it to get back where you told it to be. Over so lightly. Or as lightly as I can do it. The only thing I don't like about gel is no matter how careful I am, how much I try, always end up getting sticky all over the place. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more in the middle. And you don't want to mess with it too much because you don't want air bubbles if you can help it. Again, I'm going to hold this up here like this. Bring that around a little bit. that product before I need it. I'm going to turn my finger upside down and you can't see where is my finger. There we go. Let gravity work for you. I'm going to try to even this out just a bit. I'm going to pop her in the white and freeze her so she don't go away. Okay, then I'm going to do the rest off camera, the other three nails, and I'll be back when I'm done to show you what they look like. Okay, y'all, so this is what we're looking like. Okay. Next, I'm going to take, I've cleaned my brush. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take um, the crystal clear and I'm going to cap these glitter areas because if you don't, when you come to file, you're going to file the glitter right off. But you're not going to need a, a lot because I've already built the apex in most instances. I've already done the apex with the white. Okay? So you I'm going to show you again, just one or two on screen, and you're just going to pillow the, the gel right around that cuff area, right around the cuticle, making sure you cap all that glitter, okay, even around the sides. Then you're just going to pull the rest of that down, okay? Don't need to worry about, you know, unless you choose to build your apex like that. I guess you could. Or if you, um, you know, decide that you're a little shy in some areas or whatever and you need a little bit more, you could certainly put it on with the clear, okay? So I'm going to do that to the rest of the nails, clean up any mess that you make around your cuticles before you cure it and I'll meet you back here in a minute. 